Hello Gemini and welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the week from the 10th going through to the 16th. Thank you very much for joining us and being part of the family. Your appreciated support uh, is really felt here at Astro Flower. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, if you're not already part of the Astro Flower, why not? <laughs> it's very simple to do. All you need to do is subscribe and click that bell. Um, yeah, did you see in the monthly readings as well that we did in the Equinox readings? How's it going for you? Seen any sort of changes that are around you? Are you, you have you seen um, in the world around us and the collectives if there's any changes? If you have noticed, leave us a comment in the description below. Okay, let's get straight into your reading. Let's just uh, see what the overall energy is going on here. Very dainty. Let's start again. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to the Astro Flower. This is going to be a reading for the week, going from the tenth through to the sixteenth. Uh, if you're already part of the Astro Flower family, thank you very much for your support uh, to this channel. If you're not, why not? It's very simple to do. Just click that bell, uh, well, subscribe, and click that bell. Uh, right, let's get into your weekly reading. Let's get straight in here and let's see what's going on. Okay, and we've got the overall energies here. It's pushing it forward, so it's trying to encourage you to uh, sort of come out your shell in a way, but it's, I think this comes from the overall readings that we did for October and the Equinox readings, and if you haven't seen them, they'll be linked at the end of this reading, uh, but I think it'd be worthwhile seeing them. Uh, and I think this is what's pulling you forward in a way. It's almost like a uh you know like a vacuum a vacuum cleaner you know uh hoover that's sort of like sucking you gradually going forward as it were uh, there seems to be a slight bit of resistance from you but a new cycle is coming to town you know a new cycle in your life is coming to town so yeah it, this is it's in that process it's, it's taking that place in society around you that you haven't really taken before by the looks of things it's a very honourable place, is that? It's a lovely, lovely position by the feel of it. Uh, let's just see how the uh, guides are trying to influence that sort of uh, karmic, or the, sorry, how, what is the karmic message for your relationships this week? I think be open to um, suggestions from other people. Uh, you know, if it, if you find it difficult uh, making a decision of which direction to take and what to do and stuff like that, you you know, use your relationships around you to get give you sort of like guidance and direction basically by talking to people. Hmm. There's certainly some decision seems to be made here, and I think it's the decision about the direction you take in regards to your friends, your family, your community, the people that are around you. Because uh, it's changing times and apparently there's a change going on in you. Um, and you may not want to have that change because you don't want to change the relationships that are around you. But then, you know, some most of the people will understand the changes uh, and uh, how you're evolving. and Because they're evolving as well. So it's a good way to evolve the whole collective together. You know, which is in those monthly readings as well. Let's just see how the um, universe is trying to guide that karmic path. So a decision needs to be made and it needs to be concentrated on. And as I say, it's, I think it's pulling you forward. And I think that resistance comes from that karmic message there where you may be um, procrastinating about making a decision or taking a stance in the world around us. Here's the universe. Now, they're putting a lot of pressure on you, actually. The outside world is putting a lot of pressure on you to move to go forward, to, uh, you know, continue your path, as it were. Why go backwards? Because you've already done it. It would be very boring for you. And the universe really wants you to go on to new, different pastures in front of you. So, six of cups. So, uh, yeah, it's this is what I was saying. Don't go backwards. 
The universe is blocking your path going backwards. It's forcing you to go forward. As much as the energy is pulling you forward, the universe behind is pushing you on. So, you know, there's in a way, there's no choice here. It's just an evident path. And the universe is trying to discourage you from going backwards. So uh, it could be sort of going back to an old partner. Um, it could be um, going back to old friends, going back to old family members and stuff like that. Or, you know, and it's, it's, it's asking you to look forward and go forward, I think. Uh, let's just see how the guys are trying to influence this. They're literally shutting doors behind you. Have you been really procrastinating this week? Uh, you know, sort of kind of going, oh, I should do it, should do it, should do it. So you get involved, you know, you, you know, you ask someone out or you hold a little bit of a barbecue or whatever. You, you know, you're doing something for the group, for the for the friends, for the family and stuff like that. And you get involved in, OK, I'm going to need, say, like, I don't know, six peppers, six mushrooms. And you, you get into all of that process. But you got to you got to involve your heart. you got to in, you know, you got to involve your your passion, as it were. I think that's what needs to be doing. Because you risk to be like, have people come over, you cook for them, and then they just go. And I, I would get into more about sort of like the whole em emotional atmosphere of eating with those people that are around you. And it's probably, this is where the guides are trying to help you here. They're sort of saying, get into the emotional aspect of, of relationships and see how they really do fit with you. Um, you know, and how you can actually enjoy yourself because otherwise you risk to be a little bit disappointed with yourself. Eventually, that that change will come through. If you don't make that decision, then you're not going anywhere, and you will find yourself in a bit like dead water afterwards. So, if I was you, I would encourage that change, um, or encourage that new cycle that is it's happening around you to happen within you. Allow those emotions to come out. Stop holding them in, Gemini. Stop holding them in. Uh, let's see how um, how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you in regards to your relationships. It almost it's like a like a kid going, going, "Go on, taste that. See if you like that. Go on." Like a kid in a in a in a in a in a restaurant, you know, where there's lots of different world foods and foods from all over the world and there's loads of things you don't know. And you're kind of going, go on, say that. Apparently it's really, really hot. It's really spicy. And uh, you know, it, and you're gonna kind of I don't want to I don't want anything spicy. Try it, why not? Follow those guides. I think they're talking about being very childish in a way. Yeah, I think it's marrying all the different sort of aspects within you. Um and it's going to give you a, a, a wider field of, of, of experiences that you can have in your relationships that are around you. Try new things. I think it's been on the cards for, um, for air signs at the moment, actually. But here is a bit, I think it's about marrying that kid that's inside and, that, and how you can portray that child, uh, those emotional sides of the child or the joyous side of the child in the outside world and the adult world as it were let's just see what's going on on your business side i think this is also part of the choice if you're not happy in your job then yeah i would be looking to change your job at the moment um and this is all to do with if you're happy in your job um, obviously there is financial aspects to look at you know can you financially afford to change job and everything like that I understand that but if you're not happy I would seriously put it into question same thing for your business if your business is not bringing you the joy or the results that you want maybe there's things to change and things to do but there's certainly um, a choice to be made in some form or another yeah I see it, that's what it comes across as like things are not making you happy in your regards to your work area. That's why it's been, yeah, feeling that. That's, you know, but for some of you, it could well be being fired. But then if you're fired from a job, isn't that, okay, so it could be a really bad thing. But at the same time, yes, it's going to open doors and possibilities for you. And it's going to open space and time and everything like that to do lots of other things. Let's just see what's going on on the, um, 
and how the universe is trying to influence this. As one door closes, another door opens. This is very, they're very philo philosophical about it, the uh, universe here, and they're being very practical for you. Um, yeah, they want you to heal that heart. They want you to heal that heart in regards to that. And I think this new cycle is about that. And I, I would seriously look at, this could be a real life changer for you. Uh, a real, yeah, a life changing opportunity uh, to completely change your direction in, in regards to uh, your job, your business, your projects and stuff like that. And if you lead with your passion, this is where the universe is going to really help you. <coughs> if you lead with your passion, there's going to be a lot of possibilities for you, I think. And the guy's trying to influence this karmic message. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, when it's done, it's done. When it's done and dusted, it's, the only thing left to do is walk away and walk towards something that makes you a lot happier. So I think this is where the guides are really trying to do uh, for you. They're really trying to make a um, uh, scenario or situations around you, coincidences, that's going to lead you to a much happier place. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. The fruit is ready. It's time, it's time, it's time, Gemini. Um, you know, either it's a time to sort of say, I don't want to work in this position anymore. I want a promotion. That could well be it, as much as leaving a job or something like that. But whatever it is, there's movement on your job, your business, your projects, everything on that side there, there's definite movement with this new cycle that's coming through. Um, but the time is ripe, and they are providing lots of coincidences. Like you open a paper and you just see an advert for a job. And you kind of thought, hey, I never thought about fish farming. Yeah, that would be amazing. You know, that sort of thing. It's completely off the rails of what you normally do. Um, let's just have a look how the guides are sort of uh, influencing and it may not even be the fish farming. It could, at the end of the day, end up being, say, like uh, uh, owning uh, or starting a canoeing uh, company next to it. Do you know what I mean? It's like that could be just the door opener. But follow those coincidences. How the guy's trying to influence this conversation that is within you. I'm, I almost want to say, what have you got to lose and throw caution to the wind? It's not really your sort of thing here. Um, so there's a lot of pressure, I think, being put on your shoulders about should I, should I, shouldn't I, should I, should I, shouldn't I? That sort of scenario. Um, I think it's a good idea to explore it this week. Just poke it and see what happens. That's what I would do. Uh, start just pushing a few doors. Yeah, they really are asking. I, you know... I know it's not your easiest thing, but I think it would really do you well to just throw caution to the wind and fall in love with yourself in regards to what you do as uh, work and uh, space and everything like that. Looks really, really nice. There's a de there's a change on both fronts here coming in for you. Uh, and this process, I think, is going to last possibly to the um, going through to the 9th of uh, November, to the eclipse time in November. I think that's going to be the, um, it's going to be a real transition period. And I think that's got to do with a lot going on in the outside world, which we saw in the Equinox readings and also in the monthly readings. Let's see what goes on in the financial, let's go, and, and how these sort of two guides, two of these, I'll get my teeth out in a minute. Now, uh, these two paths actually meet and what's going on in the future going on. It's like joyous soft rain to a field that is parched and starved of water. That's what it feels like for you next week. It's a real sort of, oh yeah. It's like, uh, you know, it's like having an ingrowing hair that's kind of, oh, I've got that out. Oh, how great. You know, sort of scenario or bad back that you kind of go, Doo. oh yeah, that's much better. Sort of scenario, you know. Uh, it's a, it's a, that's what it seems like here coming in. It's a new cycle. As I say, I think it's going to be, you know, lasting for a good sort of like two or three weeks here. And I think this death and rebirth, I think it's a death and rebirth of certain aspects in your life. I think also within your relationships, but also within your job. I almost think the job things 
all money been done and dusted and it's just now time to emotionally you know let go of it in a way um i think that's you know the good the good way of doing it really and uh, you know i think there's a lot of possibilities in for you for the coming future okay so there you go gemini uh, that's your week going through from the 10th to the 16th there's loads of links in the description below um link to the astro flower and the mechanics of the astro flower but also your book as well and our sister channel somatic tv uh thank you very much for your support on this channel uh and uh, if you want to support this channel it's very simple to do just subscribe and click that bell and we're off and running you will find links to the monthly readings and the equinox readings in at the end of this video that should be showing up around my head some point at the moment yeah, so in the meantime, Gemini, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.